neighbor. Again, it's, we're going to point to our external BTP neighbor, the customer edge, which in this case is router 6, and then we're going to push this command, which is AS override. And that should be it. So now if we go to router 6, to show IP BGP, as you can see here now that I am learning the 10 network. Also, you can see here that the path has changed too. So it's replaced it's the 200 with a 100. So it just replaced, and then that's all it does. That's BGP AS override. So now let's see if we can ping all the way through 10.0.0.1. routes and take a look and see what's going on here again <clears throat> you got to remember that we're learning via BGP just the 10 network the reason the ping failed is because uh, the ping is sourcing from this 46.0 network in the 46.0 network uh, router 5 doesn't know how to get to so we need to do a source ping so we'll do a ping 10.0.0.1 We'll just source it from 172.16.0.1 again because we know that router 4, I'm sorry, router 5, if we go to router 5, we look in its routing table, do a show IP route. Of course, it doesn't have the directly connected, uh, you know, inter you know, this directly connected network, the 46 network. Uh, you could go under the BGP and do a redistribute connected, you know, under that uh, address family under uh, router 4. You know, we can do a redistribute connected here, and then that, uh, actually let me just show you that real fast. Router BGP 100, address family is IPv4, VRF R6, and if I just do a redistribute connected, uh, what you should see here now is, if I do a, sh um, on router 5 if I do a show IP route you can see now that I've learned another route via BGP this is the 46 network so our ping should work now to 10.0.0.1 because now I have a return path <coughs> back to the 46 network from router uh, 5's perspective and as you can see it works so also uh, let's just show you the ping that works from the 10.0.0.1 and then we're going to source that from uh, 172.16.0.0 or I'm sorry, dot one again, that on router 5 is it's um, let's see show IP that on router 5 is, you know, router 5 learns about that route via BGP so I should have connectivity here as well uh, as I do. So as you can see now, we have just uh, implemented um, uh, BGP through an MPLS VPN des design perspective. Um, again, the key notes with BGP is being that if you have two, if two cut, you know, if you have two routers that are in from the same customer and they're the same AS and you're learning uh, you're routing uh, external BGP to them via you know an MPLS VPN perspective by default the AS path is not going to allow those path those routes to um, to be propagated from customer edge to customer edge because um, the AS path um, The AS path rule of uh, external BGP is going to uh, deny those routes back into the uh, to that AS uh, for loop prevention uh, reasons. Again, there's two ways around that. As you saw here on router five, we went on to router five and did a uh, if we just do a show run. On router 5, we looked at under BGP configuration, 
Uh, on the customer edge, we looked at the allow ASN command, which allowed that uh, you know routes from the same AS back into the set, you know into uh, you know 200 AS 200. So we looked at it on router five from the customer edge perspective. How do I get how do I get those routes back in? Also on router four, we looked at it through the uh, from router four to router six. We looked at the premise edge solution. Uh, again, we went under the address family IPv4 VRF R6, which is the, spe uh, the specific uh, VRF that's going to router six. And we did the neighbor command for external BGP. We did neighbor uh, 192.168.46.6, which is router 6. And then we did the AS override command. And then we verified that on router 6 by doing a show IP BGP. And as you can see here now that uh, the AS path was overridden with 100 instead of 200. So router 6 sees those routes uh, as being in AS 100 instead of AS 200 and therefore will allow those routes to come in to uh, you know to its routing table via external BGP. So I hope you guys have enjoyed uh, you know this video. Uh, again um, MPLS VPNs a lot of fun. Hopefully you guys feel the same way and I hope you guys will be with me uh, for the next video thanks bye